Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's do a quick review of the underdamping case, which is, I think, the most interesting case. So what happens is we have an object that's oscillating up and down, attached to a spring, but the object is sub submerged in a viscous fluid, as an example, and therefore there's some resistance, energy is lost, and so the oscillations will diminish over time. How do we find the solution to that particular situation? Well, notice we go back to our original F equals ma, and we're going to set that equal to the sum of the forces caused by the viscous fluid and the forces caused by the spring. So this is the equation that you end up with. Notice that B here is the damping constant. The more the fluid is viscous, the bigger the value for D. You turn that into a different differential equation, and here's the solution to the differential equation. Notice that these terms right here represent the exponential decay. And here's the oscillation of the cosine function, the oscillation of the sine function. And then we have B and C. Now notice the equation for omega sub D, which is the omega caused by the damping, is equal to the damping constant divided by 2m. That goes into the exponents. Again, the bigger B, the bigger the value here. Since it's negative, that means that the exponential decay goes quicker and you have less oscillations before you come to a stop. The value for the two constants, B and C, can be found here. Notice that B is simply the initial position, and if that's equal to zero, then this whole term goes away, and C is equal to this fraction right here, which is essentially a function of the initial velocity and the initial um, position. And notice we have omega sub D and omega prime. Omega sub D, again, is equal to B over 2m. Omega prime is now the new frequency of oscillation during the damping. So as the oscillations diminish over time, it is going to oscillate at a new omega, a new radial frequency, no longer the square root of k over m, but now it's omega prime. Prime doesn't mean it's the derivative. Prime simply means it's a new omega, so I want to differentiate it, and it's equal to the square root of the original frequency without damping squared minus the omega sub d squared, which is this term right here. When you plug in the values, you end up with a new equation to determine the oscillating frequency until, of course, the, frequency, the oscillation goes to zero. All this works as long as this is true. B must be smaller than 2 times the square root of m times k, or we no longer have what we call underdamping. So there's a limit to how much friction you can have, how much opposition to motion, before it's no longer underdamping. And that is how it's done.